hello it's me lisa welcome back to my channel uh, i've just got a tiny little haul for you today um a very very small haul in fact i just also did another video i thought i'll just do them back to back uh, of me getting ready so that'll be on here as well just putting on this bit of makeup i've got oh i need to cut that bit of fringe look it's a bit skew with to say the least i always got to try and sort my barnet out i tell you i tell you i see how to do um anyway i hope you're all doing really good and i hope you all had a great weekend we're at tuesday now didn't the weeks come around so quick didn't they um, so I've done my nails, yeah, done my nails, didn't I? And can you believe I've just lifted this one? I'm really not that good, and it was trying to get on this. I was going to wear this uh, um, fishnet thing that I got for the 80s for Callie to wear. I just thought, oh, I'm going to wear it over this little top here. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going, oh, that was definitely not a lane scene. They're lying. And I pinged it, trying to pull it so hard. So now I've got to fix that again tomorrow. Anyway, you know what time it is. Guess what time? Hey, see why not? What's going on? I'm sweating today. I've got the fan on. I don't can hear it. Mind you, it's right over the other side of the room, so I'm not getting the brains. I'm not getting bra the blast. That's what time it is. It is that job time. So. What do you call a man with no nose and no body? Nobody knows. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? Because it was feeling a little crummy. I told you, every week they get worse, didn't they? Why's Peter Pan always flying? He never lands. Boom! <laughs> Anyway, I've got a little off here. Before I do, uh, I ordered these. My sister asked me to order them, so I got them for her for our 80s night. So these are some little egg warmers, some green ones, and some neon pink ones. I like the pink ones. They are gorgeous. So, yeah, we're going to be rocking it out, busting out our moves. Well, they might be. I'll be busting out my moves on the chair like this. I can do it. I can do it, yeah. <laughs> Silly old cat that I am. <coughs> anyway... Um, because I'm fat, I thought I need some shapewear, you know, to give myself that gorgeous, sexy figure. So, I ordered some, but I ain't tried it on yet because it ain't been washed. And nothing is going on my body, and definitely not near the Netherlands, Netherlands? The Nether Zones without it being washed. But anyway, I got this for a fiver, it was originally from Sheen. And I think it was a size 22 to 24. And it is one of these. Um, so that's the back of it. Like that. And then it has like the bits for your bum cheeks to go into. I don't know where mine are going to go. Because they're like that. They're as flat as my hand. So it's going to end up looking like this. It's going to be like that. Then with the bit where the bum cheeks is going to go. And it's going to be all rushy. And you'll be able to pull the material. <laughs> anyway. So that's the back of it. And then the front, so it just comes underneath your boobs and it's got a zip up the front. <laughs> There's the nethers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping it might make me look a bit better, like a bit slimmer, you know. So that's that. Uh, what else did I get? Um, and then I got, oh, I'll show you them in a minute. I'll show you them in a minute. Then I got these trousers for Callie for work, because I did buy a pair. And literally, she's wearing them all the time. She washes and wears them. So, because they've got to be comfy. So, these were £3.49. They were in an extra large. And so, they've got like these little buttons at the front, but they look stretchy, stretchy. Because um, she's not allowed to wear leggings. And yeah, they just go a bit like, thinner at the bottom. But they're literally just a pair of little black trousers for Callie for work, because that's what she has to wear. But yeah, they should be comfy. So, she should like them. I think she will like them i think she will uh and then they're gonna be like lisa you weren't kidding this is a short haul you've been in for the long haul this is a short haul anyway then i bought uh this and it was i weren't oh, I, I weren't sure about it at first but i'm thinking once it's washed and once i put it on i think it's gonna be actually quite nice 
So it was $4.99. Uh, it's in an extra large. And let me go back a bit for this. So it's like that. I just hope it fits me to be. Don't feel whether it's a stretchy, I've got to be honest. Uh, it's like that. And then it's got like, um, I can't even describe it. It sort of ruches here. It's got like a cow neck at the front. And then it sort of ruches up at the side, look, like this. So it's like a short mini mini dress. Am I showing you it properly? I don't know. Like so. Oh, I can't even lift my arm up. I've got something wrong with this left arm. That really hurts. So yeah, I've got that. But anyway, I'm not sure if it's going to fit me. But you know what? I'll wash it. If it doesn't, vintage, here it comes. Uh, and then, last but not least, oh, there's my raw seats. Uh, last but not least, I do love handbags. I do. And I like this one. It isn't made by anybody. Uh, it was, oh, I don't know, I can't see. Six ninety nine. A bit steep, really. Six ninety nine, But it's big. And it's got one of these. I cannot have a bag without one of these. Because I always end up making them like the crossbody bags. So it goes over like that. Uh, yeah, so I can wear it like that. So it's got a long strap, which I can make longer and come in a bit closer. Um, I think these are fake zips at the front. Yeah, they're just like fake. They're not even compartments. So you've got it like like that at the front. Uh, this bit lifts up. Good for me, Siggies. <laughs> and then that's the back of it, just with the handles. But it's pretty big inside, though it's massive. I do think it's actually brand new. Um, I don't think it's ever been used, to be honest. It, does, it looks brand new. Um, and, oh, it's definitely brand new. It's still got these bits, and look, just took that off the bit of plastic off the front here, like here, the popper. So, yeah, it was never used. I didn't think it was. So, not bad, really, I suppose, for a brand new bag. It's pretty big. Uh, so, I got that. Anyway, and then I ordered a couple of bits of vintage. Uh, and they come through some little bits of silver, so I'll show you them now. Uh, we got. Do you know what this looks like? It ain't even silver. I better not rip me off over the fist of cups. Do you get what I mean? Anyway, so it's a little. Uh, what's this called? Like a shambala. Shambala, like a little crystal ball. Look into my ball. Wish. What do you want? Tom Aldi. Tom Aldi. <laughs> yeah, so that. And then it's got like the little earrings uh, to match. I don't know if I told you what you do. I can't remember how much it was because I think I got three bits. It was this, this, uh, what I've just showed you, with this evil eye bracelet and it's meant to keep away the evilness. And then the next bit I'm going to show you. I think it was about £9 for all of it, I think. So not bad, you know, not bad. And then I got this. Bear with, bear with. It's just like a little bow. A nice little bow. Bow ring. And, uh, no, don't fit on there. Who am I trying to kid? Like I've got skinny fingers. So there. It's really pretty, do not it? I might actually leave that on. Yeah, I'm just peed off about me now. I can't believe I just lifted that because of my fat gut trying to get that thing on. <sighs> anyway, so that's them bits. Now, what I was just thinking is in the last, not in the last haul, in that just little get ready with me video, uh, I told you I've been watching some films past couple of weeks, but I can't remember the names. Well, I've had them written down. So I'm going to tell you a couple of the films and I'll just tell you if they were worth watching, if they were yay or nay. Right. Just keep moving on. Just keep moving on. Not swiftly moving on. Just keep moving on if they're not good. Oh, poof. Hair in my mouth. Right. Unseen 2023. I haven't seen it. And that's why it's unseen. <laughs> it's actually called Unseen, but I haven't seen that. So I can't. I'm just telling you some films, all right? I'll tell you if I've seen them or not. The Hillside Adopts. The Hillside Adoption Scam. I've not seen that either. Children of the Corn 2023. It was okay. Nothing special. Not the best. Not the worst. Why is this fringe? It's annoying me. Um, leave. Did I watch Leave? No, I didn't watch Leave. Leave 2022. 
Right, Girl in the Closet 2023. Good film, however, if you find out the backstory of it, the most horrendous thing you'll ever hear. But they didn't, luckily enough, show you uh, and let you know just how bad the, it was done to a girl called Lauren Kavanagh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, next one, Consecration, uh, 2023, and then I've not seen that. They're going to be like, how many of you thought you'd just seen loads? Well, I don't know, but just not these ones at the moment. Black Girl Missing, I've not seen that, 2023. Unwelcome, I see that. Right, so it's about these couple, and it wasn't too bad. There were some silly bits in it, but it wasn't too bad. And they're living in uh, somewhere in London, and it's a bit of a rough area, and they decide, well, he gets gifted a house in Ireland, can't tell you no more let's just put it this way the leprechauns attack uh and then the next one the paramedic who stalked me was pretty good i've seen that and i told you he could have stalked me he was beautiful uh that was about a girl who gets stalked by a paramedic but there is a backstory to it you'd need to watch it and find out why um you can't escape <coughs> escape me excuse me i've got a cough uh, that one i watched last night that was quite good, uh, as I say, we've, they've all got little sort of twists in. Um, Blood Harvest, I've not seen. The Girl Who Escaped, I've not seen that. The Reading was good, I enjoyed that, that was really good. Um, Attachment, I've not seen that. Oh, then I see Baby Ruby, this was a few nights ago. Uh, it was good-ish. Ish, okay. Remember the ish if you watch it. Good ish. Uh, find her. Not watch that. Vacation home nightmare. That was all right. Okay. Watch vacation home nightmare. That was all right. The devil beneath. Now I started watching it last night and then I turned it off because it's like one of these big monster films by the looks of things. And uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm really into creature features, but anyway, I might give it a bash later. Uh, the third guest. Now, that looked alright, but when I read the reviews on IMDb, it was only giving it a 3. Or was it even a 2.3? Something like that. Um, Waking Karma. Um, I've not watched that yet. Haunted Valley. These are all newer ones, though, as I'm telling you. Imani. All Eyes. <coughs> No falls. I've not seen any of these. Sick. I liked that. It was sick. <laughs> no, I actually liked that and it had a bit of a twist. Not sure if in real life you'd go to the extent that what happened in this, to be fair, but uh, it was quite a good one. Lullaby. Now, this was by the creators of Annabelle and I didn't mind it. Um, it was a hell of a lot of baby crying going on. And I mean a hell of a lot of baby crying. But um, it was alright. You know, so-so. Not too bad, so that's worth a watch. Uh, the Apology I've not seen. Nine Ways to Hell I've not seen. Hunt Her I've not seen. The Walls Are Watching. Now that looks really good. So I am going to definitely, definitely... Uh, hang on a minute. What was the one I... Did I watch that one with the man inside the walls? foreclosure or was that stalk within it might have been stalked within i don't know or foreclosure but anyway there are a few of the ones that i am gonna watch or ones that i've already watched and some of them are not on there which i have watched and can't remember what they're called because the brain i forget about it i told you i'm getting your know, memory loss it's just gone i hope i don't freaking forget anything tonight with asking me 80 so if they ask me loads of 80s questions on like music and i'm like oh, well that is uh, um you can't win prizes do you understand i've got to get my game on anyways <laughs> that's just my little haul for today um i will come back at some point and i will because people have been saying yeah tell me your ghost stories in fact listen to me Come closer, come closer. Come closer. Don't get scared of me, alright? Don't get scared. <laughs> now listen, it isn't just um, ghosty stories I've got to tell you. I have actually got a UFO, an identified flying object, which is something I see when I was 10. Actually, I've seen more than one time 
different kind of things but one when I was 10 one when I was with my sister and my friend so we all see something um yeah so I'm gonna do, tell you I'll, I'll, you know if you're into that kind of thing watch it if you're not then obviously just don't watch it um but yeah I'm gonna do a video on my paranormal experiences and my supernatural experiences and my alien experiences and um what else did I want to do uh, and I will upload a few more songs um yeah I'm gonna do some I might chuck some 80s in the mix but like you chucking 80s in the mix are you sure about that are you all right yeah I'm all right because I'm gonna chuck 80s why does my nose look big if I do that in my lips then my lip do you know what I've got to tell you something this is so disgusting do you not think my lips are I'm really sorry if you're easily offended just and you know what if you're easily offended end the video right now so I'm going to say I love you all very much and uh, take care of yourselves take care of each other if you're easily offended end the video now right sometimes when I look at my lips yeah I think they look like a sphincter you know a bum hole look <laughs> a boom I'm just telling the truth, okay? I know it's crude, I know it's disgusting, but that's what I think, and I'll speak my mind. Anyway, listen, if this is your kind of thing that you like to watch, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, please press your notification bell, and, uh, you know, as I always say, I love you loads, all of you. Have a beautiful day. Uh, happy Tuesday to everyone. I've got she knows it's you not. Um, yeah, um, love you all very much. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Until my next video. Love you all. Ciao.